So the next topic that we are going through will be set and vein diagram. Okay, from 2020's papers onwards, okay, the sets question will get harder because it was totally removed from the admin syllabus and they decided to bump up the difficulties in this particular topic. So as listed over there, there's a couple of things that you need to know. Okay, the most common one will be empty set, union, intersection, and the subset part. Okay, element has also been brought up lately. So these are the couples of lists that you need to take note. So let's go through some example. So when D equals to M-A-T-H, G is empty set, B is M-A-T-H, Z is A-T. So let's go through some example here. Over in question one, I actually listed down a couple of statements here okay, to show you how does all these symbols is applicable to different situation. So a few things that I would like to point out okay, will be the first statement there. A is actually an element of D because it is inside the bracket of D. Okay, so the next one will be X element is not an element of set D because inside the bracket there's no X there. Okay, G equals to empty set. So there's two ways to represent that. Okay, B is actually a subset and equals to D. So B and D is the same. Okay, and Z is actually an element of D. So this shows you that uh, Z is actually a subset of D. So because they don't have the exact same thing, so they are considered as a subset instead of proper subset. Okay, this is just to show you the difference. Okay, and over the side there is just a couple of examples on the union and intersection. Okay, so you can read through this, screenshot this slide, and improve your sets concept today.